while ago, I made a video on how to get free unlimited cloud storage for your photos and videos. But on November 11th, Google made an announcement that they are about to make some major updates to policy of Google Photos, which is shocking, but I think it sounds fair. So what is the shocking announcement that they made? We launched Google Photos more than 5 years ago with the mission of being the home for your memories. Today, more than 4 trillion photos are being stored in Google Photos and every week 28 billion new photos and videos are being uploaded. Starting June 1st, 2021, any new photos and videos you upload will count towards the free 15 GB storage that comes with every Google account or the additional storage you have purchased as a Google One member. Your Google account storage is shared across Drive, Gmail and Photos. This change also allows us to keep pace with the growing demand for storage. So we wanted to let you know well in advance and give you resources to make this easier. This is what they said and why I think it's fair because many people doesn't even know that they can store their photos and videos in Google Photos and everyone who knows about this are not the people who upload gigabytes of photos and videos. And people who constantly keeps on shooting videos and clicking photos and storing them in Google Photos are only a handful. So investing that much on storage servers isn't a good idea when only a handful of people are using it extensively. So for the rest of the people, the 15 GB of storage given by Google is more than sufficient. Okay, now if you open the latest version of Google Photos, you can see that the app is already showing the message that from June 1st, 2021, all the uploads will count towards your account storage. There, if you tap on the profile picture, you get a brief information of the announcement made. Now, before the set date, nothing will be changed. Everything you upload in high quality and express quality, it is free. But if you are already uploading content in original quality, this change does not apply to you. If you go to the first link in the description, it shows you an estimate of how long you can upload content based on your uploading pace. I have one year of storage left. So what do we do next? After the 15 GB quota is about to end. Simple, just buy a subscription from Google One. And the price has started 130 rupees for 100 GB of storage for one month. You get all this information in the app itself. And one more important thing to keep in mind, if you are using a Pixel device, all these changes are exempted and you can continue enjoying the free unlimited storage that you are used to by now. This is just one of the perks of having a Google phone. And Google is informing this to the users well in advance, 6 months before implementing the change, so that you can think and take action. And I respect this decision. So. I suggest all the non-pixel users to start uploading the photos and videos to Google Photos until June 1st the next year. And I think Google is making people tend towards pixel phones and make them buy it. And if you don't want to spend more on Google One subscription for more storage, you should be smart enough to choose which files to upload. Well, that's it for this video. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep uploading.